Hey everyone, so in this series of videos, we're going to look at the next kind of iteration of creating your UI and setting up some UI in Unreal. So this first video is just an introduction to kind of talk through what we're going to be covering today. Um, so I've kind of boiled it down into some main topics, but we might kind of veer off and end up covering a couple of different things. Um, so if we do, I'll try and segment the videos up into like a nice easy way for everyone to kind of break it down and understand. But the main topics that I know for definite we're going to cover are I'm going to run through a real quick recap of last week. So I'll just talk through the project, kind of where we're at. Um, I'll kind of do a real quick refresher on that. Um, I'd recommend everyone goes back and watches last week's video if they haven't watched it yet, because it's some of the basic stuff that will be run through very quick in this week's one. Uh, we kind of covered in a little bit more detail last week. After that, we're going to look at really quickly adding some buttons to our menus, because last week we kind of set them up, but everything was very much happening automatic. So we were using the event construct, and then once stuff was displayed, we were kind of progressing on to the next thing. We were using a little bit of animation as well last week, but now we want to start act, adding some type of interactivity to our layouts, and we add, want to add some buttons. So from there, we're going to start scripting some events today. Um, some of them will be like loading levels, some will be quitting the game, but we'll kind of we'll explain them all in the next couple of videos. After that, I want to do a quick little bit on button states. So I'm going to use some buttons uh, for this lecture that Helen developed uh, for Global Game Jam. I'm just going to port them into this uh, build of the game just so we've got something to look at. Um, and we're going to run through basically how important your planning is and how if you plan this properly, it should fit in the engine very, very quickly. And I'm kind of going to run through some of the common mistakes and common issues that people have kind of run in the while they've been setting up their button states and stuff as well. After that, we're going to look at how to add some cameras. So this the top couple of things that we're covering today kind of work whether you're doing a 2d or a 3d menu um but the bottom one is very much aimed at 3d one so we're going to take a 3d scene we're going to add some quick cameras to it and then we're going to look at how we can add camera movement to make this uh, menu system a little bit more interactive and kind of almost make it feel like it's a little bit more diegetic um then so we might cover some different topics other than these ones that I've got on screen at the minute. And then next week, uh, we'll do another series of videos that kind of delves a little bit more into detail and hopefully kind of answer some questions uh, that have come out from me running the practicals this week and talking to you guys.